drama of life going through, and this is why we're here. We're here to experience all these new ideas and the, all the drama and all the conflicts and all. We're, we're here to do that. We're here to experience the whole enchilada of this human life. But we're not here to be attached to those effects. We're here to observe them and learn from them. And so he came up with this idea of inner freedom. He said, inner freedom is when my response to the drama of life is as an unattached observer. Isn't that cool? Let's say that. Unattached observer. It's very, 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 very powerful. Uh, a good uh, story that came to mind uh, this morning, actually, was about Gene Harper. How many of you know about Gene Harper? Gene Harper is a, th a third grader in school. And her dad's a crop duster. His whole life has to do with flying, uh, parachute dropping, and doing all those good things. And so her idea was, I want to be like my dad when I become uh, an adult, when I get older. And her teacher one day said, we're going to write about, you know, a little essay about what we want to do when we grow up. So what did she do? She said, I want to be, I want to be a crop duster. I want to do parachute drops. And I want to ultimately be a, a pilot for a, an airline. That's what my goal is. Now here's a third grader saying this. Well, of course, here's the drama of life again. Here's the, her, her, the drama was, women do not fly airplanes for United Airlines, number one. They do not do this and they do not do that. But she decided not to attach herself to the, the stigma that occurred having to do with women in those days. Thanks to her dad, her dad helped her get through it. She says, no, stay centered in what you want to do, and it will come to pass. And so she didn't, she didn't accept the fact that she couldn't do it. And, and she became the first United Airline uh, trainee pilot <coughs> ever as a woman. And currently, she flies a Boeing 737. I think we had a clap for Jean Harper. She learned. She, she, she learned uh, that she does not have to kowtow to or be immersed in the subtleties of the human drama that sucks us in and absorbs our emotions, absorbs our, our desires, our creativity. But she rose above that, and so she exercised her inner, inner freedom. And her inner freedom was this, that I am going to respond to life as an un unattached observer. It saved me a lot of prayer, and so it is. Thank you.